Hi friends, welcome back. It's Janet here. I am sharing with you today this amazing, amazing card kit by Crate Paper using their new collection, Gingham Gardens. Now, if you have not seen this collection, you need to. You're missing out. It is absolutely gorgeous. If you stopped by the shop, you would have seen that I created a accordion st t style um, mini album-ish if you want to call it, um, using this collection, the Gingham Gardens. Now, they also are making this card kit, and I thought it would be kind of cool to kind of play around with it because I am not really great at making cards myself. Um, it's just not my forte. <laughs> but I do love a good card making kit. I think that it makes um, card making fun, easy, fast for those of us that don't have a whole lot of time to make these extravagant cards but would like to try it, right? So I decided to come on, make a video, and kind of share, share with you um, my take on using this card kit. Now, with a card kit, you can kind of, you can do whatever you want. You can follow the pattern, you can follow what the card kit you're gonna make, or you can also make a mini album out of the cards, the cards and the envelopes, right? So today I think I am going to make a couple cards and maybe try to make something out of um, some of the cards. So we'll see where we get, but I wanted to share with you some of the things that come in the um, kit. So the first thing I'm going to share with you is all the ephemera. Um, super adorable, super adorable. I'm going to zoom you in. You get some birds, you get some sentiments, um, some little journaling spot areas here, some butterflies, some tags, some more little sentiments, more butterflies with florals, more sentiments thinking of you so this is like you would use this on your cards if you like if it's, you're sending it to somebody um or whatnot or if you're making a birthday card or just you know whatever you want to create with it you have to sometimes friends think out of the box don't necessarily think that you have to use the supplies that you have in this kit just to make cards you can do whatever you want with it i love this one it says thanks congratulations and some more florals i really really love the florals in this collection and the birds it's just very very beautiful beautiful soft subtle collection beautiful so you have the ephemera which is amazing so you get 22 pieces of ephemera now, moving on, we also have some stickers. Oh, you get these amazing stickers. Um, it's 53 stickers, it says. So we get those. Just trying to find them all for you. And you have some more sentiments and some butterflies. I absolutely love the postage stamps. I think those are really, really fun. Very, very beautiful. I love the color palette as well, friends. It is just a brush of fresh fresh air, just perfect for spring, summer, Easter, which whatever you want to use it for, it is perfect for. Um, you also get some um, pop dots, dots, I'm sorry, um, mine are a little bent up, but super fun because you probably won't use all these or who knows, you might. And you get 20 envelopes. And then you get 20 cards and you get four of each pattern. So you get some wood grain and inside they're completely blank. So you can do whatever you like with them. You get this beautiful floral pattern as well. And then you have this one with some tags that say XO on them. And this is probably about my favorite. I love this soft green gingham pattern on these cards. I love, love this green. And then this is the very last pattern that you get with different little um, pieces on here. I think are absolutely gorgeous. And then last but not least, you also get two strips of washi on here. So two of the gingham, two of the butterfly, and so on. So very, very beautiful. I am now going to start sharing with you what I'm going to make. So I am going to follow some of these. Um, we'll try it. We'll make these. I think these will be fun. We'll start with these. Um, so fun. 
so you can see like like i said i am not making cards is not something that i am amazingly good at i i am not a card maker by any means but there is times that i would love to make a card and um i think things like this work because then I, you're not so intimidated and it's easy it's fun and there's not a whole much like thought that like there's thought but not as like oh I need a stamp I need to do this but so if you're someone that doesn't have a lot of time on your hands and has a whole bunch of little kids like I do and wants to make a quick little card this would definitely be great for you so we are going to start with the first one which is this one and I think this is so cute I love it okay friends so here we go I am going to start. So we have a little, I'll show you if you can see. So I'm starting with this one. I hope you guys are in frame here. We're going to start with this one right here. And as you can see, it's telling me that I need a, a uh, postage sticker. So, and from the looks of it, hmm, it seems like perhaps... I see that the postage stamp is behind it. So I'm wondering if they cut that a little bit with an X-Acto knife. Hmm. I'm not sure because it looks like it's dimensional. Hmm. Well, I think they might have, but I'm not going to do that. Like I said, it probably would look nicer behind it tucked in. But that's, that's just, I don't know if I want to do that or not. I guess we can. Let's see. I guess we can. So let's see how this is going to work here, friends. So I am just going down tracing down the tagline moving my card a little bit to see if I can get this through now I like to go a couple times because maybe the first time I didn't press as hard because I don't want to break my blade And I think it needs to go down more too a little bit. I am not great with an exacto knife, friends, but I kind of feel like maybe that's okay. Let's see. I think so. I kind of want to do this a little bit up here. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can do it however you like. Okay. So let's see if that's going to work. Or if I need, I think I need to, yeah, I have to open it up a little bit more. Okay. So I'm lifting that up. Perfect. So as you can see, I did cut that a little bit with my exact exacto knife or my um my little knife here. It's not an exacto knife, but it's a We Are Memory Keepers knife. Um so I, I cut that a little bit and now I'm gonna stick this behind it, kinda how I see in the photo and leave it like that okay so you can you can do that or you can do that or you don't have to do that so it's totally up to you I wasn't gonna do it but then I'm like oh maybe I should um I could have cut this out but I did not so that's okay so then we're gonna go ahead and put a blue heart you know what we're gonna do the heart last I think because it also has congratulations on here so we're going to go ahead and pop that up using the pop dots. <laughs> I'm 
Now, friends, you can go ahead and use as many as you want. You do not have to use as many as I do, or you can do whatever you want. Just know that it's always open to your own ideas. You don't have to follow exactly what someone else may be doing. Or if that's how you like to do things, that's fine. So I'm just going to go ahead here and do this. Not such a big deal, right? I should be using my Tim Holtz thing here. Okay, that one's good. Okay, so I am putting that down right about there. It says congratulations. And I'm looking for some more of the ephemera because I see that it has this one as well. And I guess maybe we could, maybe we should have put this down first, but that's okay. Thankfully, these are not as sticky and stubborn as some other pop dots we have on the market where if you peel something off or get it, it's not going to look good anymore. <laughs> so I went ahead and set that down. And then I'm putting this butterfly right in here. And then we'll have this little heart and the pink heart as well and that's it friends that is really about it it's it's cute it's beautiful um i did it in a matter of minutes uh probably took me a little bit because i had to do the exacto knife and i wasn't too sure but there you go that's our first card